I see. The Killachine is back. You ran because you were scared to fight it? Jeez, you're so super lame. And you're seven! Are you okay? Yes, I'm just fine. Thank you. Stop it, Rom! Stop worrying about that dummy! Tell us about the Killachine. Our attacks could hardly dent it. <sighs> I, I resent when games do that. R4 created it as a tool of destruction. Its power... Well, you saw that much firsthand. Also, there are far more than one of them. Hundreds must be sealed away all over Louis. That's a problem. Hundreds? Oh, give me a break. No Kit Kats are here this day. <laughs> Numbers are stupid. Yes! If say the word, then me and Rom will blow them all away. Okay, cool. Then help us. Kaboom! Kaboom! Now, now. I don't think it's as simple as blowing things up. I mean, to be fair, literally all of our problems have been solved by blowing things up, so it, it probably is, actually. Such a course of action isn't realistic. That's why we used the mascot to seal them away, but... The they did. Mattered. The mascot... Still, the situation must be addressed. Fortunately, ASIC is not one to take hasty action. You say that, but... Which could also mean they're taking their time to make a thorough game plan. I mean, either aren't great. Indeed, but their hesitation does change the options available to us. Does it now? It is a selfish request. But may I ask for your aid in protecting the city and gathering information? Friggin' duh. That won't be a problem at all. What's done can't be undone, so we'll do all we can to help. Thank you. I'm sure you're all tired after today's ordeal. Please rest here for the night. Napping does sound like a fun time. I'm, I am down for the nap times. The next day. Well, this sucks. We can protect <laughs> the city all we want, but the enemy show no sign of movement. There's something just about the the abruptness. Well, this sucks. Like, oh, damn. All right. Even if the Mr. Killishings do come, I don't think we're enough to protect the whole city. And the mascot is gone. What are we going to do? Our best. Ugh, I hate thinking. Why not glue the disc back together? If my wifey's joined forces, anything's possible. As if it would be that easy. It could be. Have you tried? Still, that's our only real option at this point. Let's try to find a way to piece it back together. I mean, we need the mascot to seal the machines away again. And we need its help for the CPUs. Yeah, but who knows how to fix a broken disc? Not like will happen upon such a convenient person. And a three and a two and a one. Let's go! We fixed, Mew. Oh my god. See, if we just stumbled upon someone like her, then maybe it would be possible. I said it can be fixed. Look this way, Mew. She has returned! Huh? Uh, who are you? We've met before. In the last game, IF. Alright. Yeah, all right, sure. If that's what you want to be called. Hello. Um, nice to meet you. I'm sorry to ask this so suddenly, but can you really fix this disc? Can you use your strange cat orb? As long as you don't shoot weird goo out of your eyeballs, I think we'll be fine. Well, Gamers Magazine had an article about fixing discs a while back, so sure, you. Yeah, and when have magazines ever failed? Except for all the times they've done that. Gamers Magazine, huh? Again, how convenient. Don't think about it too hard. Anyway, you can fix your disc with the right materials, Mew. Don't think about it too hard is just the general mantra for this franchise, I feel. Okay, what do we need to gather? Seven, uh, chaos balls. Two things. Rare metal and a tamium, Mew. I see. Where are they? The future! Louis International Exhibit has some interesting monsters if you get what Broccoli is saying, you. Mm, mm, mm. The Broccoli speaks wisely. Thanks. Let's go, everyone. No reason to lollygag. Let's collect these materials as fast as possible. I will wait here. Good luck out there, you. I know you're capable of combat. You were like DLC. Alright, then fine. You wish us for to return on over? Then that's what I'll do. Stop saying things are boring! You- oh, you think things are boring? Then fine. Then we're just gonna have to do a whole bunch of battle and fight! Get yourself all sorts of invested with all of the- the fighting we're gonna be doing. Ah, there we are. It's all about finding the proper angle. 
The angle of your bojangle. Ta-da! Okay. So, where, oh where, would this particular material, perchance, maybe be found? Am I actually expected to get into battle with enemies to find it, or... A sehua, you know? Huh! Oh, nice! I finished a mission somehow! Huzzah! The best news! Man, you tried. It didn't work. It didn't work. Huh. There we are. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I'm gonna just grab some of this. Then maybe we'll just go over to the next area entirely. Maybe that's where we'll find what we're looking for. Wouldn't that be convenient for us all? Hmm. Hello? thing that I need in order to progress forwards. Where perchance do you be dwelling? Oh, there's an event over there! Delightful! It's my turn. Alright. Feel like the odds are not exactly in my favor when it comes to defeating whatever it is that's on the other side of that event, however. So, let's actually go out of our way to do ourselves some battling. Get that EXE drive going. Every little extra bit of damage is good. Alright, you can do nothing. There we are. Alright, no more of that. And they're supporting them in a technological sense. Oh no. Alright. Can I hit all three? I cannot. How frustrating! Alright, then fine. I'll hit both of you this way. Ah, there we go. Always count on IF to slash up some nerds, let me tell you. And uh, 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 there we are. Ta-da! Yep, that's that's still a quest title, all right. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Uh, my XE drive is looking adequate. Could definitely be better. And the only enemy that's left is something that's way too out of my wheelhouse. Unfortunate. All right, then fine. We'll just make do with what we've got. The monsters that broccoli mentioned? Perhaps. One way to find out. Let's what just beat the ever-loving snot out of them and hope for the best. Oh, now what is this nonsense? A metal shell. All right, how metal is your shell? Relatively, as it turns out. All right, fair enough. Hmm. All right, that wasn't so bad. But what if... Gotcha. We really do have to bust open that shell to get the big damage done. Okay, but at the very least, it looks like I I, I wouldn't need to rely on my, my combo game or anything. We've got this. It's going to take a little while, but we'll get there. Just use your strongest attacks and slap them down. Okay, but did you have to do that, though? That seemed entirely unnecessary. You're a bit of a jerk, I can't help but notice. But you're a jerk that's almost entirely dead, so, you know, that works. Ow. Stop with all that mess. And instead, just be dead. Come on. You'd be amazed at how good of an idea it is for you to do that. Oh, and victory. Give me the mineral. Nice. Huh. All right. Well, it didn't say that we got the material, which is concerning. That's also less than ideal. Ow. Ow. It, it literally didn't. It did zero damage. Why is it that some enemies seem to be able to do, like, oodles of damage to me and others just do absolutely nothing? It's very strange. Uh, let's see. Smack both of them. Yes. As a matter of fact, we absolutely can do that. And we will. 
Injection right into the robotic face. Come on now. All right. Uh, no, that's the way I came. Right, right. So, I don't know. I feel like I would have been explicitly told that I got the thing, but... Uh, I, I, I can only assume that I did. All right. I guess once we're done with all this, we'll just head back to Broccoli then. Not much in the way of options, I suppose. Oh, oh, I was gonna use a super move, but then you decided to get rid of the character who could actually do that with your stupid power ceiling nonsense. So very rude. So very rude. Fine! Then that means you get the yo-yo. If you yo. And up! Up! Alright, taking care of even more business. We're doing pretty well. Why would you spend your one turn alive not attacking? That is a very bizarre choice. Alright, well. I wasn't explicitly informed that I managed to get the thing that we were looking for, but I have no reason to think that we didn't, so we'll assume we did. Simple as that, I suppose. No, no, I don't think so. I don't I don't think you'll be partaking in any of whatever that was about to be. No, 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 no. Instead, we're just gonna leave this place. Just dodge our way through all the nonsense, head right for the exit. And we'll go talk to that strange broccoli girl. Which is totally her real name for reals. Uh, ooh, wait, no. Events. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well, as long as there's an event that can be done, then that means it's something we should do before we go off and do anything else. So proclaimeth I, the guy that does not know much about anything. Hey ya! Hup, tup, and bup, bup. Ow, why? Okay, but again, no damage, so... Yeah, all right. It's just... Just free gains for us. Part of me is tempted to try and fight that thing. I kind of really super want to. I'm not going to lie. But uh, every other part of me is like, no, no, don't do that. That that would go poorly. You would look a bit of a fool. And I, I, I am inclined to agree with that part of my brain. Overconfidence has probably been my number one adversary since I started this channel. It's like, man, whoa. I get one stroke of good luck and all of a sudden I gain some measurement of, like, expectations for myself and the universe has to quickly balance itself out. I was like, nah, stupid. You bad at this. Stop it. Hmm. It said there was a yawn event, but I don't see any events of which to partake. Oh, wait, no. There's... No, that's the exit. Fascinating. Hmm. Ah. How did I miss that, I wonder? All right, doesn't really matter. We'll just head over. We'll just head over. Grab ourselves a bunch of goodies on our way and also fight the big giant head. Its incoming message means nothing to me. It needs to stop being alive. It freaks me out. It's mostly the glasses. Nobody should ever be wearing those weird glasses. Especially if you're going to be we breathing weird-ass chemicals all over Kampa. Stop that. Girl, do not deserve whatever it is that you be going on with. Yo, yo, to the head. Which, not for nothing, would hurt a hell of a lot. Those things... Those things are sub significantly more substantial than you'd think. Plus, I'm sure they probably, like, make super yo-yos or something that are, like, made out of cast iron or some such nonsense. That sounds like something the sick, twisted minds behind the yo-yo would come up with. No, that's just the back. Huh. Well, I dare say that I am confused. Alright, well, hey. We got to do at least some fights. Why did it say there was an event when there apparently was not actually an event of any sort? Explain yourself, why don't you, you scoundrels? Oh, alright, well, that's not great. Ow. Ow. Alright, let's see... 
Oh, well, almost. Almost made that one work. Oh, well. Ow, stop that. It's a good thing we're gonna be leaving this place basically immediately. Huh. Hang on, hang on. This really feels like one of those situations. There it is, okay. That's what I thought. Now get out of here, you. And especially you. Why are you not dead? God damn. Okay. Well, going back wouldn't solve any problems whatsoever, so we'll just head to the exit. Hmm. All right. I didn't see an event marker next to Louis, but I could have just as easily missed it. Let's go check that out. But it definitely said there was an event here. You can't say that they didn't. Uh, Louis, no. This is peculiar. Time to depart. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I just went the complete and total wrong way. Of course I did. Of course I did. Ain't that just about the most average and expected thing to ever possibly happen in the history of ever. Hi, Chihuahua. All right. Yeah, there we go. Hitting three of them. Let's go. And, uh, okay, well, that time we're only hitting two, but damage is damage is damage is damage. Wait, no! All right. Well, you should still definitely try to make yourself actually succeed. Uh, here we go. There, okay. I do like her hops. Those are some pretty good hops that girl's got. I can appreciate a good set of hops. And... Aha! Oh, it always makes me happy when I can hit multiple things at once. It's like I'm implementing some kind of strategy or something, and I know what I'm doing. It's pretty fun. Huh. There we are. That prevents a large amount of enemies from being able to hit me. I like when they hit Nep Nep because... Uh, not Nep Nep. Uh, Nep Gear because uh, it does no damage. If it hit anybody else, that'd be more of a problem. I'm so sorry. I am quite used to saying the nep nep, not the nep gear. That's my bad. Apparently, your nickname is Gigi, which just makes me think of like Zsa Zsa Gabor, which is just such a dated reference. Hey, look at that dopey monster. Okay, let's do that. We should beat it up and quick. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I I like your logic on that one. It's like, oh dang, it's a thing. Beat it up for no reason, I guess. Didn't even establish that, oh, well, maybe it has that thing we're looking for. It's just, no, no, it's, it's it's just a strange looking thing, and it looks weird, so. Yeah, it needs to die. To be fair, it does need to die. It is a horror show, and I do not like him. But still, it's an interesting way of thinking. I can't help but notice that you're taking oodles and oodles of damage. You are clearly a stronger foe than the things that you look identical to. I will give you the Mirage Dance. There we go. That should save us a little bit of time. I mean, apparently not as much as I would have thought or hoped or expected, but, you know, it, it's still something. Ow. Okay. Oh, really? Just straight up negate my ability to be awesome, huh? All right, then fine. You get chemicals in the eye. And also a yo-yo. It just dawned on me that two of the people in our group use things that are not weapons as weapons. Also, really? You're really gonna be doing that? All right, well, we're very lucky that this fight is over. And there we are. Sorry, I F. She seems to get taken out significantly more than just about anybody else. It's really becoming a bit of a problem, if I'm honest with you. Yes, yes, we should. More like we have to bring it back. Time's running out, and there's no telling when the enemy will strike. Mamma mia! We should probably do that thing. Oh no! Things are happening already. One more back online. Huh. Kind of cool seeing all these things come back to life. I don't like this. This should be enough. I'm going to crush Louis and those stupid CPU broads for good. Nah. You ain't going to be doing any of that. 
All of that stuff you just said? Nah, Come nah. On, nah, we're not doing any of that. Instead, we're gonna go over here. We yeah. Yes, you! What, did you think Broccoli knew what she was doing? You're a fool! You can do it! Just believe in yourself, Mew! Okay, I guess I can try. Then again, I guess she has established a fondness for the tinkering of, of stuff, so... Let's borrow a room in the Basilicom. It might be good to have the Oracle around if the mascot recovers. Perhaps it can then convince them to do something for us. Worth a shot! So, I put this here, then... I see... You plan to bring the mascot back by creating a replica disc with the materials gathered. I guess. Broccoli was kind enough to appear at the most convenient time and tell us about this method. Let's save the praise until after we manage to pull this off. Yeah, otherwise it's a wild goose chase. And nobody wants to deal with that kind of honking. Whoa, this is so rad. Louise's mascot is going to come back and be fine, right? Uh-oh, that means it's going to fail. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh no, oh no. Jig, and... Yay, I did it! Or did you? Oh, sounds like it exploded. Where is this? Oh, hey, it actually worked somehow. Okay. Score! The mascot's back! How lucky! Yes, it's wonderful to see you again. Do you remember who I am? Probably not. Louise Oracle. Oh, okay. What's going on here? I was destroyed, and yet... We repaired you and brought you back. So now you're indebted to us. Help us. Do it. Do it, coward. Thank you. But then what of the seal? Oh, it's super gone. It has been broken. We need to seal the killachines away again as soon as possible. And now she tells us, oh, it's too late. It pains me to treat you as nothing more than a tool, but... Get to work. No need to feel that way. Time is of the essence. Knowing this. Sister of Neptune, I need to ask a favor of you. Okay. Yes? What is it? As you have noticed, fighting is not my forte. Yeah, it isn't. I am unable to return to where I must reactivate the seal. So you want me to take you there, gotcha. Well, it may burden you. May I ask that you escort me to my destination? Easy peasy -um. Of course. You didn't even need to ask. I'm going to, Mew. Nani. Why, Miss Broccoli? We're going to a very scary, dangerous dungeon. What, what part about she can shoot goo out of her eyes do you not understand? There's No need to bite the hand offering to feed us, right? Word. Especially if it's a tortilla. For your help. Not broccoli, though. I don't want that. Don't mention it, Mew. Well, all right then. Broccoli. Cool. Also, yo, level 2 EXE drive. Hey, do you two want to join? It's totally allowed. Mm -hmm. Um, it would be really nice if Ram and Ram came with us, too. They'd be a big help. Okay, I want to... Stupid Rom, we can't go! Too bad, we're taking Rom. Why not? Um, cause we're Louise's CPU candidates, so we gotta stay here and protect the city. Duh! But... Aw, oh, that's too bad. I guess I can't force you to come with us. But she really wants to! No, you can't. So anyway, me and Rom are gonna go play by ourselves over there. Come on, Rom! But... Wait! No! <gasps> Let me have CPU friends! Uh, how long do I gotta go before I get some CPU friends? I'm truly sorry to task you with such a burden when it should be dealt with by Louis authorities. Eh. There's really no need to apologize. We'll be going now. Gotta do what you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's what we'll do. Alright then, let's see here. Let me take a look see loo at Broccoli Styles. Alright, I see, I see. Wow, Mini IF hits hard. Mini IF hits harder. Wait. Mini Compa hits harder than Neptune does. What the? Yeah, DLC characters, you certainly are, even if that makes absolutely no dang sense at all. Sheesh. Alright then, I just wanted to look over Broccoli's stats and stuff. As much as I'd like to just straight up bring her into battle, she doesn't seem to be strong enough to facilitate that at this exact moment. So, let's couple it up. Also, you guys have been working together all this time. No, no boosts? 
I was explicitly told that doing that would make it boost, and it hasn't boosted at all. Disgusting. Anyway, Broccoli, you go ahead and... Actually, no. Go to Nep Gear. Apparent... Oh, there's already a level 3. Okay. Cool. Oh, it works just fine for me. I'll take it. Boring. Your face is boring! Let's do our best. Constantly talking to me like I'm a boring hey, man. Mom, let's draw pictures. I'm getting really good, you know. Mm. Don't wanna? Then, video games. Nina just bought us some new stuff. But Ram, I wanna help Miss Nepgear. No! I said no, so no. Okay? No. Such a bossy pants. God, why are you crying? I didn't do anything. Stop it. You're being a butt. Miss Nepgear is doing her best for Louis, and we're just playing around. I don't like it. I'll get over it. It's not like we were the ones who asked her to do it. But she's trying to save our sister. Huh? So what are you telling me? You like her more than me now? Huh? Is that it? I mean, one of them is being significantly less pushy. I like Ram best. Of course you do. So let's just play and then. That's why I want you to come and help Miss Nepgear with me. Oh, please, Ram. Pretty please. <laughs> She's just gonna keep sobbing until you say yes. Uh, stop crying. Stop looking at me with those stupid puppy dog eyes. It's all she knows. All right, here's a hope, hope, hoping. All right, now, I really would like to build up that drive. So let's just go ahead and do a little bit of that before we jump head first into whatever horror show is about to await us with all those kill sheens. I feel like the odds of, any, of us having to fight more than one is going to be pretty, pretty high. So let's go ahead and try to avoid that. All right, eh. Damn you, Tetraminos! Must you consistently make everything always more difficult than they need to be? What am I talking about? You're Tetris. Of course you do. That's your entire thing is being more difficult than you have any right to. That's it. I'm stabbing Tetris. I'm stabbing it in the face. Can't be stopped. Won't be stopped. End of story. Thank you and good day. Yep, and yep, I'll be taking that. And you think you're getting away from me? It's my turn. All right. Neither of us got the jump on anybody on that one. Unfortunate. Man. All right. Hang on. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, fine. No choice. No choice but to do what I'm doing. And ah, there we are. Okay. Now we're hitting them on the double styles. Ow. All right. Well, can't do anything about that. Although you've opened the opportunity to do something about that. Congratulations on the ill-advised decision. Now you're gonna get slap around. Uh, any chance you're... No, you're not. I was, I was just wondering, any chance you're even marginally close to perhaps maybe leveling up there, IF, and the answer is new. The answer is a big, fat, resounding nope Slovakia on that. Unfortunate. All right, well... I just want to do my combos. They'll save my brisket. Of that, I am very certain. Oh, boy. Okay. And again, it's all about finding that right balance between getting stronger before we go into a boss fight and, you know, ending up taking up too much damage before we get ourselves in there. I do have healing items, but it'd be nice if I didn't have to use a bunch of them. It'd be, you know, if I could actually hold on to them for a little while, that, that would obviously be ideal. And ah! okay, well there was uh, there was a there was a bit of a a, a snag with that one. The box was open; it prevented me from doing the thing. How unfortunate! Also, I got an achievement for getting into a hundred fights, so I mean that's pretty cool. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hey, three for one! That's the best deal I think I ever done did see. Huh. And stab. Come on, no, no, keep on, keep it going, keep it going. There you are. Okay. Uh, all right, the EXE drive is doing all right. Just a little bit more. Having two would definitely be ideal, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take what we can get. 
I'm not in the business of being greedy. Ah, 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 there, just barely. Just barely gotcha. Ah, why must you consistently breathe fire for some reason? That's so weird. Eh, come on. That's it. You're all gonna get slapped along with the yo-yos. And also shanked. Uh, all right, run around them and uh, do yourself some of this. Wolverine! There we are. Okay. And combo went up. So that's always good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say that we are, by and large, doing just fine. So let's go ahead and get ourselves over, over there. Then again, I'd rather have it before we start the fight. It's my turn. It would make me feel a little bit safer, if nothing else. There we go. Yep. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. I just had to make absolutely certain that it was all going to work out. And it totally is. Die, you! Dang it! Nothing ever has the decency to let themselves just get the deaded. They always have to make a big stand about it. Alright, well, I'll be taking that. Bye bye weird phoenixy bird thing. Ain't dealing with you today. Okay, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Let's go ahead and... Shloop, shloop. That'll have to do! Oh no. These things are spawning like some kind of crappy FPS. Time for us to get moving. That sounds specific to me for some reason, but I don't know what it would be a uh, reference to. Oh, wait. Pretty sure 48 is the most unlucky number in the world. Maybe I'll get just one more. It most definitely is not, but okay. Damn it. It's really bugging me. I got to go back and find another one of these. Come on, monkeys. Why not just let them rampage about? Why do you got to have them follow you around? Affirmative. Oh, apparently they can talk. That's that's news to me. Wowzers! Look at them all. They're everywhere. We struggled so much against one, but against so many. We are but ants on the hill as the sun slowly descends upon us. There is no alternative. To reactivate the seal, I must be taken to this dungeon's depths. I mean, we're pretty much there already. Some kind of super cool secret agent plan? When has she ever had one of those? Hmm, well, we can bank on them not being fully operational yet. So if we sneak around them, then... Do you want to try doing that? Standing here isn't going to get anything done, you know. You don't know that. We could try it for longer and see. And if they start moving, we just got to smack them around until they stop. Simple. I mean, she has a point. I'm tossing Red's idea right into the trash. Anyway, let's go. It's our only choice for now. She seems chipper about the fact that nobody is considering her input. Good. They aren't moving. If we just keep quiet, then maybe, just maybe... Sudden, unexpected, loud noise! Mm. Alright, I feel like they probably could have made a better sound effect for that. That's... something whirring to life. We gotta hurry. Some of these are starting to boot up. Or somebody tried to just make mouth noises that sounded like a zipper. Like you. Yikes. It's starting to move. Oops. Heck. Why don't you actually have beeping noises? Why Why is someone actually making mouth noises? That's silly. totally failed you. Then we have to do what we must. And we must fight. Well, how many of them are we fighting? Uh, one. Okay, well, that is completely and totally manageable in every shape, way, and form. We can work with that. We can totally work with that. And transform. Don't you even worry about it. All right, we call that the Yata. Now, Mirage Styles. Yeah, every last one of those hit. Fantastic. There you go. We've already done considerably decent damage against you at this point. So, yeah. I think this will work out just fine. Probably, maybe. Maybe, possibly. 
I guess it depends on whether or not you're completely identical to the last enemy we fought, or if you've got some kind of super secret extra trick under your sleeves. Non-existent sleeves. Because not only do you not wear a shirt, I don't even know. I, I guess you're wearing armor, I guess. But I don't know. Still seems dubious to me. And just keep going for it. It seems to have a terrible speed stat, so, you know, we're able to make good use of that fact. Ow. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, we're about halfway there. But who is on the chair this day? We may never know. Fill, me. Br fill in your own joke for that one. I'm too busy punching and chopping and kicking the giant honking robot. I feel as if, realistically, we should have gotten, I don't know, another special move at some point here. But okay, alright. Just keep spinnerooning. This thing is almost the big dead. It's getting there, it's getting there. Yep, you just keep on bonking. Bonking the way that you do. And good news for Red. She's gonna be the one to finish this off, I'm relatively certain. She's running and flipping. And also, she occasionally be dipping. Ta-da. How are you not dead? You ain't got no HP. That's just silly. Ooh, a time bangle. There you go. All right. Well equipped to fight those things. I think we're doing okay, honestly. Intruder detected. Intruder detected. Heck. Uh oh. What do we do this time? I'm surprised somebody isn't legitimately just going wee -oo, wee -oo, with their mouth. Bad news. It's activating the other machines, new. <gasps> if only somebody could come down and be our savior. <gasps> Maybe some potential party members, even. Uh, no, you've had worse. Jeez, what are you dummies standing around for? Hurrah! Rom, and you too, Ram? We made it! Hurry up and seal them away! But isn't it dangerous for you two to go it alone? Incredibly! What do we look like to you? Wimps? Kinda. These buckets of bolts are no match for us, CPU candidates. I mean, we beat you. I don't know. We'll be fine. Thank you so much. We'll be back as soon as we get the seal reactivated. Yeah, that's not joining my team at all. Uh, rumble, 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 mumble, grumble. All right, fine. No sense causing a commotion of this here ocean. And also standing around trying to get Red to level up is probably not the greatest idea either, so we'll just move on right over here. And also we're gonna save because, yeah, no, we ain't, we ain't taking that chance, bro. <laughs> we ain't taking that chance. Man, this last one is taking forever to activate. Maybe I hit the spawn cap. Man, waiting around sucks. Screw this. I got plenty to burn low E to the ground. We won't let that happen, you nerd. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, there we go. Took her a second. Oh, great. You idiots again. How the hell did you get here? What happened to the kill genes? Low E CPU candidates are taking care of your scrap problem. It's over once we've reactivated the seal. The seal? How dumb are you? The mascot's gone. Kaput. Hell, I'd like to see you try. All right, sure. Wait, so come on, how the hell is the mascot here? Whatever you break, I can fix new. Broccoli, you did nothing. You fixed. That's so cheap. Damn it, you're ruining everything with your cat hat and cat orb and your goo eyes. This much is to be expected from my hand-picked wifey candidates. What broccoli is one of those now too? Ah, kill jeans! Fight these dumb broads and buy me some time. I've got to find an escape reinforcements. Affirmative. Retaliatory protocol initiated. Input required. Input? Set phasers to kill. On, off. What the hell kind of input is that? Yes, yeah, set the crap to kill, but don't overheat or nothing. Huh. Uh-oh. Like uh I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is how one might say the pits. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Holy magic. Of course, the origin story is a hundred. Wait, of one of the five legendary heroes from ancient times. Of course, the origin story is our imagination. Fascinating. Okay, how about you go ahead and do this? 
All right, that's some decent starter damage. Uh, not 100% sure who you just hit. So that's obviously a problem. And transformation proclamation. And now we'll do this. No. Shishing. All right, how's that for damage? Decent, 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 decent. Could be doing better, could be doing better. Could be doing worse, but could be doing better. Uh, just do a lot of that. And eventually, everything will probably maybe be okay. Yep, still ain't got no EXE drives for this. Okay, how about we set you on fire instead? That did way more damage than the other one. Huh, neat. All right, then. Cool, cool, cool. We've got you all kinds of surrounded and whatnot. Always ideal. Extra combo with, uh, I don't know, extra dip and sauce. Hey, yeah. You want honey barbecue? What? And cool move attack. Shot, shot, shot. There you go. Damage. Oh, cool. Great. Now we're no longer transformed. You know what? Maybe I don't give a dip. Maybe I don't give a dip about being transformed and I'll just whoop your ass normal styles. You ever consider that? Huh? Let's find out. I'm sure this is gonna go just fine. Eventually. Just gotta pay closer attention to those HP stats. You're fine, Kampa. You're fine. Walk it off. Walk it off. Simply believe to achieve or whatever. And also maybe miss with less of your attacks if at all possible. That, 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 that would honestly be helpful. I'd feel pretty good about that one. shabba daba 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 hoo And the shabba daba 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 hee Alright. If our attacks hit marginally more often, then this would be going a little bit better. Uh, let's see here. Compass style guide. How about... We cannot hit any of that. Alright, cool. So we can only heal one, huh? Alright, well then Compa's the one closest to being dead, so she gets the healing. Huzzah! Whoever dares try to take down one of the gals will suffer the consequences. See what I mean? The consequences. They'll be arriving soon. Heal styles! There you go. That'll keep you in the game. Theoretically. And a little bit more. We're getting there. Just, yeah. Stay the course. Keep adamant. Let's go. Let's go. Doing flips. Doing flips. Why does this keep happening? All right, fine. You know what? Wait, hang on. What was that? A revival pencil. HP, uh, revive and restore 30 HP for all allies. Wow, that's interesting. I, I didn't have these before, which means these are officially things that I can probably have, and I can feel good about using a revival item now. That works for me. I'm tired of her missing out on all the dang EXP whenever we fight bosses. It is bizarrely consistent. It's a real problem. All right. Okay, so seriously, IF, could you stay alive for like half a ding dang gosh darn second and a half now? All right, maybe if we kill the enemy before it gets another chance to attack, she won't die again. Dare to dream, huh? Hoya! Shing! 2,000. That's got to be enough, right? <sighs> Inexplicably, it was not. There we are. Good for you, Broccoli. Return to Scrapyard Heaven, Junk. Anyone see where Underling went? Aw, she heckin' you like absolutely booked it, yo. She ran off. Then again, she's the least of our worries now. Is she though? I mean, sure, we beat her up a lot, but she is definitely the most consistent source of issues we've come up across this entire game. We need to hurry up and get the killing sealed away. Of course. One moment. <laughs> Are you okay, Rom? No, that's why she said ouchies. Uh, Try to keep up. It stings. What's with these stupid things? There's like a gajillion of them. There's like 48. Look at Ram. Meow, meow, meow. 
God, this game. <laughs> so Terminal silly. Error. Terminal error. Kill machine is shutting down. Goodbye. Bye. The seal must be active again. Miss Nepgear really did it. Hooray for friendship. She would have failed if I didn't come along to help. All she did was carry the mascot. Shut up, Ram. Brom gets it. She's nice. We good? It seems so. All Killashines have been deactivated. As long as I'm here, they will never return. Yeah, we're in the clear. Huzzang! Louis is safe thanks to you. No words can accurately express my level of gratitude. Give me a dollar. We only did what was right. But that means you can't come with us, doesn't it? No, but she could probably give some power like the other ones did. I see no reason why she couldn't. Again, my departure would mean the reactivation of the Killashines. I thought we made this clear. We can't let that happen. I'm sorry I brought it up. But only slightly. Hey, in Last Station, we got a bit of the mascot's power, even though it stayed behind. So how about it? Unfortunately, I lack the proper technique to perform such a... Huh? Nope. Oh. Huh? This is me? How did this happen? I don't know. What's going on? I wish I could tell you, me. So you don't know either? What? I'm so confused right now. That's normal for you. Don't worry about it, Kampa. Patchwork with generic materials may cause some glitches in the disc, but this glitch is cool, Mew. So I guess we can go with that, Mew. I didn't read that, and I apologize. Oops. <sighs> Considering our efforts to bring it back to life, all's well that ends well, I guess. I mean, basically, there's two of them now, so that works in our favor, now doesn't it? Um, so in this case? Yes, yes, I can now heed your request. I will stay behind and maintain this seal. Neat. And I will join you to assist in whatever way possible. Good luck, me. <clears throat> That's very silly. Let's go home. I'm going to take your hat. Thank you, Miss Nepgear. I should be thanking you two. We couldn't have done this without your help after all. I'm sure Ram will be sure to make us aware of that at any opportunity. <laughs> Aw. Okay, okay, whatever. Let's go home. I'm hungry. She wants jelly beans. Meh, kids. They have a point, though. Let's get back to the Oracle. And then we went back to the Oracle. Oh, man, always making me do this stuff. All right, come on. I am eternally grateful. Yeah, you are. You have saved me from an incredible disaster. Yeah. All in the name of protecting the land that my wifeies live on. Don't mention it. No one asked you. He's right. Don't worry about it. We were able to get the mascot's assistance by helping after all. I mean, she's, she's right about some things, but not other things. Then I am glad that your hard work bore fruit. Are you all planning to leave right away? Yeah, we gotta go to the land of the Xbox. But they don't got no CPU candidates, which is funny. Yeah, we're all done here. Miss Nepgear, you're leaving? Tragically, yes. And I'm sure for arbitrary reasons that I'll never understand, you can't come with us. Meh. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll meet again. Please don't look sad. This is supposed to be a happy goodbye. Okay. Gross me out. Why is Rom getting all lovey-dovey with her? I don't like it one bit. Step up your game, girl. How about that? I'm sorry that we can be of no further assistance, but allow me to wish you luck on your journey. That's literally worthless, but appreciated nonetheless. Thanks. <laughs> it's like, mm, yes, thank you. Your good intentions are certainly going to help what us in the long it? run. Lean box. There aren't any other CPU candidates there, but they've got to have a mascot. Lean box, huh? You... Oh. oh, my end gear is ringing. I bet it's Iswar. I forgot that it did that. Hello, Nepgear. How are things progressing? Eh, I mean, you know, better than expected, but, you know, worse than we hoped. We secured the help of Louise mascot, and we were just about to head down to Leanbox. Excellent timing. I just finished a call with Leanbox's Oracle. Hakuzaki Chika. Chika! It would appear she's anxious to meet you as soon as possible. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Me? But why? I do not know. But she did sound to be in great need. I recommend that you make haste to Leanbox. Okie dokie. Okay, we're on our way. So, did everyone hear that? Hmm. What 
would the Oracle want? I guess we'll find out after we arrive. Mm-hmm. Yep. How do we get to Leanbox from here, though? We could take one of the ships that go between Last Station and Leanbox. We'll get there in a jiffy. I didn't even know there was one of those, but okay. That works. Then back to Last Station. <laughs> 